So I'm looking at the um, further drawing exercises in the parabola, and I'm going to do this one. Verif um, verify that the circumcircle of the triangle formed by three tangents to a, a parabola passes through the focus, and that the orthocenter of the same triangle lies on the directrix. Okay, so we'll take a look at that in, um, in GX web. So again, to draw uh, my parabola with a focus, we do um, line there, A, B. Um, we're going to specify where A is by specifying that distance F. And we're going to specify where B is um, by making its location on the x-axis, uh, parametric location T. Um, we're going to create a perpendicular there and the parabola is its um, envelope as T varies. And we can change the bounds of T to get a more uh, lengthy chunk of parabola uh, visible. So I want to do, I need to make that minus 10 and make this one 10 right here. There's my parabola and I have one tangent here. I need to create another couple of tangents. Uh, let's do that. There is one vacated at S and we'll make another one up here. Um, make that location U. And so here is my the triangle that we're talking about and we want the circumcircle of that triangle. So let's and create the three vertices of the triangle. And select the three vertices and put a circle through them. Now that certainly looks like it goes through um, the focus. Let's just check that symbolically. Um, so what we'd like to do is look at the radius of the circle. The radius of that circle there. Um, there we see it in terms of F, T, S and U. And then I'd like the distance A to H. Because uh, for A to lie in the circle, that a distance would want to be um, the uh, the same as the radius. Yeah, it looks like there's a bit of computation going on there. Um, we can sit and wait for it to play out. I'm now worried at this point that we might get uh, that distance in a slightly different form that we want than what we want, but um, no, in fact, uh, it does uh, look um, the same. So we have now shown symbolically that A lies on that circle. We also want to know that if F, um, that the point F, sorry, not the point F, we want to find the orthocenter of that um, triangle. Way to do that is we need two um, uh, we need two altitudes and to intersect those two altitudes. Uh, way to get an altitude is select the point and the opposite side and use this perpendicular um, tool. And so it's created, created one altitude. Um, we can choose uh, to create another altitude here. Let's choose G and um, the opposite line there. I create a second altitude. Now we need to intersect those two lines to find the orthocenter. The orthocenter is actually external to the triangle here. Um, but here's my intersection tool. It will give me uh, that point K. And we want to show that, that sits on 
the directrix. The directrix is the is distance f in the negative direction, so it's a point is y coordinate minus f. And well, let's just take a look at that. Um, so the coordinates of k. And we see uh, it's somewhat complicated x coordinate, but the y coordinate is minus f, so it is sitting um, on the directrix.